why Van Lucci is being targeted again by the prosecution in his murder case that he's currently out on bond for. Prosecutors are saying that he violated his conditions of bond by going to a studio the same day he got released and to the same strip club where the incident happened at. They're also claiming that he tampered with the ankle monitor because they couldn't find his whereabouts at one point in time and he also tested positive for marijuana and opioids. The prosecutors are saying that because of this, they want his bond revoked until the end of his trial. A new picture of NBA Youngboy has surfaced as he's been transferred from California jail to a jail in Louisiana. Right now he's booked into a jail called St. Martin Parish, but the sheriff office says that he's being held there until the marshals come pick him up. This is after pics of him in jail just surfaced recently. From all the recent pictures seen online, it looked like he's doing okay as he awaits his trial hearing. DMX music streams have increased a thousand percent after his passing. Rumors have surfaced of his master recordings being brought by Jay-Z and Beyonce, but according to her family, this isn't true. It was also rumored that the family was raising money through selling merch and requesting money to pay for the funeral. They stated that these things are false and that anybody that's claiming to be a part of this is scamming the people. The online community has still been talking about and celebrating the life of DMX. Police has deployed a dog made by Boston Dynamics again to a housing complex in Manhattan. The robot has been has been taken on a couple of crime scenes already. The dog has cameras, lights, and sensors. It starts at a going rate of $74,000 and up. Right now, NYPD is saying that they're testing it and have used robots in the past for hostage negotiations and bomb situations. People are already raising concerns that these drones will soon get militarized and weaponized in the future. Stay tuned for more news.